Hey, what's going on everybody? So Jaden Alexis is back in full swing attacking Krishon on social media where she has now come out to make some outrageous claims against her and exposing her to child protective services which shocked people and further showed Jaden's true colors and how petty she really is. Now, Jizzy has finally had a change of heart on the custody agreement with his soon-to-be ex wife Jinny Mai where they have now agreed on new custodial agreement. So today we are going to be seeing about all of that starting with how Krishan has been brutally attacked on social media by Jaden Alexis who has now taken it to a whole nother level where she created a Twitter page only dedicated for exposing and putting her in a very risky situation where she could lose her baby to CPS. Now Jaden being this cruel person she has apparently now become, of all the things that she could attack her on, she chose to attack her using her baby where she made several claims of how she gave her son the fetal alcohol syndrome and how she would report her to CPS. So what she did is a lot but let's go through some tweets that she put up and see exactly what she said and figure out what she really meant by it. In this particular one tweet she said, you gave Junior problems when he was born. Why did you drink, do drugs when pregnant with Junior? Why do he look like that? She also put her son side to side with a baby with a fetal alcohol syndrome and said, do you love what she did to Junior? You are sick. He came out the roasted hands, feet, head and eyes. Now, she didn't stop at that because she also said that she would report her to CPS in one tweet where she said, I'm reporting Krishan Harm her own baby Junior, that's why he looked like that and it's a mess. Well, I think that what she's doing is way messier because blasting a fellow mother like this is not cool and it shows that she's jealous of her cause if that wasn't the case, she wouldn't be doing this much. But wait, cause there's still much more. So she went ahead as well and said that Krishan even after becoming a mother, she was careless where she said that she continued to do drugs. She said, this is who Krishan Rock is, lines on the table even after Junior came out like that. She continued to drink and do drugs. Cancel this mess immediately. Get the f what? First of all, my baby is healthy. They would have told me if he had syndrome. That's He's healthy, bro. She also said she's a dope fin parkour who left her newborn disabled baby in the hospital to chase Dick and try to prove a point to his daddy shouldn't be raising a flea, let alone a baby. He's healthy, bro. Just because that picture wasn't that cute doesn't mean I could die and lose my baby <clears throat> on the internet. Anyways, she really did a lot, even talking about how Blueface has denied her son and how she needs to be locked up for her crimes. Now, honestly, I never saw this coming because of how Jaden looked kind of calm lately and seemed focused on her life, which even caused many people to think that she had moved on and rested the whole Blueface issue. But it seems like she's still on fighting hard. Plus, a few months back, these two were reunited and became friends and all that and people thought it would last but it seems like that was just a dream that will never be a reality. Otherwise, Krishan is keeping cool with all this happening, minding her business and by the way, she also recently said that when Blueface gets out, they will immediately have another baby and that this time around, she will do it right. So I guess Jaden is jealous of all that happening with Krishan and how she's thriving, but it looks like 
Krushon is past small social media fights and is only looking at bigger things. However, people still think that what Jaden is saying is true because of how obvious it is and the fact that even Blueface himself came out on different occasions talking about how Krushon is not a fit mother. Anyways, speaking of pettiness and fights, Jeezy and Jin Mei are not taking a break with their divorce, especially with the custody of their two-year-old daughter Monaco, where he has now switched up again and asked for joint custody, but with a condition that both of them get the same amount of time to spend with their daughter. This comes shortly after the rapper has asked the court to grant him full custody of their daughter because he claimed that Jin Mei was not able to raise her well because of her busy travel schedule which caused her to have their daughter being taken care of by her grandmother and uncle. Now when he did this, he faced a lot of backlash because many people thought that he was attacking Jin Mei because she wasn't allowing him to turn their divorce case private. Now, I think that maybe he had a sudden change of heart because of how he was blasted when he requested the full custody or because he knew that he was not going to win the case. But I'm not sure if that's the only reason to explain his indecisiveness because he has always been switching up the whole time. Right after they divorced, he asked for a joint custody, then a few months after that, he temporarily allowed Ginny May full custody. A month later, he requested for full custody and now a few days after that, he's asking for joint custody again. But amidst all of that, he has always had complaints about how Ginny May went about their joint custody, where he always complained about her gatekeeping their daughter and making it hard for him to see her. In response, Ginny May said that it's not just gatekeeping, it's protecting their daughter because Jeezy often has unsecured firearms around the house and she wasn't about to put their daughter in such a danger. Now, with all this back and forth going on between these two and their daughter having to be under several different caretakers like her parents, grandmother, uncle and nannies, I think it's affecting her so much because of the inconsistency and having to be tossed around all the time between her parents and I hope that one day they come to an agreement and maintain it because she needs stability and consistency in her life, especially when she's still young. Anyways, we have come to the end of today's video. Care to like and subscribe on my channel for more entertainment news and updates. And don't forget to tell me what you think about Jaden attacking Krishan and Jeezy and Jenny May custody fights as well. Stay tuned.